So now that your keyboard is set up, you can start using main stage. So let's open main stage 3. I'm going to use a new file. Now in reality, your show will already have a file set up for you, so you don't need to worry about you know, making patches and all that. But we're going to go ahead and learn how to do that, so that whenever you need to add a patch to your show, you know how to do it. So first off, there are three different uh, modes. Edit, layout, and perform. Edit is the one you're going to stay on the most because it's where you can make sounds, you can change your patches, you can change your mixer, volumes, and stuff. And perform is the same thing except it doesn't have all your changing. You can only play. Layout, you can change your displays, you can change your fonts, colors, you can add different materials, you can add pedal buttons, you can change the color anything you want to do besides make noise. You cannot make noise when you're in layout mode. So let's go back to edit mode and let's add ourselves some sounds. So we're gonna click the plus button, call our untitled patch piano, and make a piano noise. Then we're gonna go over here to channel strips, click the plus button, software instrument, create. Now the yellow strip shows us our instrument, our first instrument, which is gonna be Piano. Now to open up this screen, if it doesn't show up, all you need to do is click the info button. And you'll have this. Once this shows up, you'll have to click on the instrument. And then you can change it to piano, Steinway. Now you should have noise. Now if, if for some reason the sound is not coming out, or the keyboard is not responding, go to layout, click on the keyboard, and if you look over at MIDI, MIDI ports, the key station has to be on here. If it is not on here, then it will not work. It will not work. So what you need to do is either check all of your chords, make sure the key station is on, and it should pop up. And if you click all, it'll hook to whatever one is connected. You don't have to worry about selecting it all the time. Now let's say the sound is coming out, but it's only coming out of your speaker, your MacBook speaker, instead of the actual speaker speaker. Well, then you go to Main Stage 3, you go to Main Stage Preferences, Audio, and you have to make sure that the output is not MacBook Pro speakers, but your audio box. On here it says Tapco, because that's the brand name, but you also will say Audio Box. So click that, and then your sound will come out of your audio box instead of the MacBook Pro speakers. Okay, so now that we have our first patch, let's click on the Steinway Piano patch again. Let's go to Layout Editor, and we can change the range of our Steinway Grand Piano. So if they want to split voice, you can split it to whichever range you need it to. You can also layer it, which we'll do right now. Add a new channel strip, software instrument, create. Now we have an instrument. Let's do, oh, harp. Go to orchestral, harp, harp. Now we have two sounds. Okay, and if we split it as such, let's bring this down over here. And let's split this one like this. So now it's split. As such, you can also layer it. stack as many sounds as we want so I can add a new patch and there will be another one. Now you can also change the icon on here click attributes icon you can change it to guitar you can change the color of your instrument Let's say I want a yellow instrument I would color code it so that harp is always green or blue so every time you have to use a harp noise you're gonna color code it so that it's blue. Now, let's say you don't want to change the color each time because it's a hassle. Well, all you need to do is first let's create a new patch, go back to the piano one, click on the harp, command C, copy, and then paste, command V, anywhere you want. Now we have the exact same harp. And if you do one that's split, like this style of a grand piano, it'll also show up as split on the next patch. And such. And you can also just copy the, the whole patch itself, 
and we have two, we have three of them. You can also organize these by movements. So instead of clicking the plus button, we're going to click the settings button, go to new set. Now we have an untitled set. Let's drag these two into the untitled set and let's title this movement one. Move this up here and we'll let's make a new set. And let's call this set movement two. Now we have two. And we can put this one and this one in the movement two. So now we have two folders that are labeled by movements. We can also label these by sets because a lot easier set one through set, I don't know, five maybe. Let's say this one is set five through seven, but only to measure one, 23. And make sure you always save after every change you make, otherwise, because this computer gets really hot, so it might crash. It will crash. So make sure you always command S, save as many times as you need to. So make sure you always save after every change. So now that you have your patches, you have to perform with them. But it's a hassle to come here and click on the next patch each time, especially when you're playing on the keyboard, which is not here. What you can do is program these arrow keys as your folders and your patches, or whichever way you want to do it. But the first problem is if you click on these, they will actually be keyboard noises. They actually have noises. In fact, this one is probably E flat seven. Yeah. And then it'll be D7 and so forth. So we have to reprogram these so that they will change sets instead of pressing keys. So to reprogram it, you're going to have to go to assignments and mappings and create a new assignment. But before you do that, if you make an assignment while on a set, just like this one over here, this action will only work whenever you're on set one. So if I try to use the next key right now, it will work. But once it moves to this patch, it will not work. So make sure that you go to the actual file before you add a new assignment. That way it'll affect everything like these do. So now that we click Swan Lake example, we can now create a new assignment. Let's assign it to channels 1 through 16 as such. The type is going to be a note because right now it's playing E flat 7, then we're going to change it to E flat 7, D sharp 7, same thing. And it's going to be called next patch. Let's call it next patch. Okay, so now we have D sharp 7, next patch, and it's unmapped. So we need to map it. So we click on that, and now it shows us this. We're going to go to actions, next patch, and it's set. So now when you come over here and you press the next patch key, it will go to the next patch. And it'll keep going to the next patch and restart and restart and so forth. Alright? Alright, and the next one's gonna be back, which is D D6. So we can do the same thing. Click new assignment, and you're gonna do the exact same thing you just did. But the only difference being instead of D-sharp 6, it's going to be D6. Note, number, previous patch. Uh, map it, actions, previous patch. And now it's mapped. But we're once again on harp. So let's change it back and change the actions to previous patch. So now, whenever I click back, it'll go to the previous patch. And I can go forwards and backwards. And then I can program these to be the folders, so it'll switch folders. And then I can switch the folders and then move the patches if I wanted to. So now that we've programmed our arrows, and we've got our sets, we can go back to the workspace and perform. Now obviously all the sounds are going to be the same because we used the same patch and copied it. Well, let's just, for example, add a new one called So now we have an acoustic guitar added, so I can play the acoustic guitar and then go to the harp, go back to the acoustic guitar. Now if they say 
let's go back to our piano one. And let's say they want Steinway Grand Piano to be louder than the harp. Well, you can raise this so that it's higher, or you can make this so that it's softer. And then there'll be a difference. You have more, or the opposite. But never try not to go over the white line, because that's when things start clipping and you get a lot of popping noises. So, if you need to change something to be louder, just lower the other one. It makes life a lot more easier. Mm, this will not save unless you save it manually. So if I close out of this and reopen the file, it'll come back to its normal positions. So make sure you change after any changes you make. Alright, so now that we've created a basic patch for your show, let's look at an example real quick. So here we have a show. So first thing, the layout is different. So we used a different layout scheme by using a different background image. You can also change it to that, let's say for now. And this has been enlarged and we've added some pedals and some buttons to move patches. The programming still works so that everything that our next set, our previous patches are all coming out the same thing. And we have our movements, movement one, two, three, and four, with our sets in the middle. And if we go through them, we can see that they have different noises, different noises. Again, you can copy and paste this one to anywhere else you want and have the same thing, and so forth. All right, well, that's pretty much the basis of main stage. So uh, have fun and enjoy your show.